Uh, that will be an intriguing second match, I think, because uh, Liz Friedrich was almost there, and uh, I think if she can uh, perhaps uh, think it through a little more tactically, of course, she'll be starting in second spot next time, and uh, Gross will be leading that one away. So uh, we will see uh, what happens as the uh, second match takes place. Uh, a second win from Matilda Gross will give her the bronze medal, a win for Leah Sophie Friedrich, well, that will force a third and uh, decisive encounter. So an intriguing battle already developing in the bronze medal final. And uh, speaking of intriguing battles, we're now going to go to the final for the gold and silver medal. Stephanie Morton, twice a silver medalist, on both occasions losing out to uh, 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 Christian Vogel, who's alongside me here in the commentary box, and uh, YG Lee of Hong Kong, China. So, uh, difficult one to call this one. Uh, Stephanie Morton uh, uh, will be obviously uh, starting, uh, I think, just as the favourite as being uh, twice a silver medalist, but uh, YG Lee is a very strong competitor indeed. And if she gets uh, uh, the first match under her belt, that will certainly put Stephanie Morton under a great deal of pressure. Definitely. What I yesterday told that is that this will be the gold final. Sarah Vaji Lee against Stephanie Morton. Uh, a sneaky rider, Stephanie, um, against uh, uh, Sarah, a sneaky rider, Sarah, against a long full grass rider, uh, Stephanie Morton. Yeah, going a tough, tough ride. So we see what's, what's, what's happening now. Sarah starts from the back, she lost it. Stephanie starts from the front, she lost it too. So, yeah. Yeah, if you weren't with us yesterday, um, Christina did predict this is potentially the final when I uh, put her on the spot to say who, what do you think we'd see in the final. And uh, she does know a bit about sprinting, so in fairness, uh, she is uh, right. So uh, <laughs> let us see uh, what happens in this uh, intriguing battle for the uh, gold and silver medals. It's the first, potentially, of three, and it's Stephanie Morton leading away for Australia. Why is Lee settling into a position a couple of bike legs behind? And Morton decides to take the competition to the top part of the track. There are several laws to have that big, big gap to the first, to the first position that she can accelerate and you didn't see it at all. And then she's there and you wonder how, oh, where, where's the speedness gone for, from her? So uh, it starts, it starts more for Sarah than for for Stephanie. Yes, uh, Raji Lee is uh, still in second spot here, beginning to accelerate. She's out of the saddle, just getting a little bit more pace into it now, taking closer order onto the back wheel of Stephanie Morton. It's all important to get the uh, first win to put the pressure on your opponents, and it's Stephanie Morton beginning to lead this one out as they accelerate into the back straight. YG Lee of Hong Kong, China, using the slipstream of Stephanie Morton to her advantage. She is level as they come out of corner three, as they come out of corner four, can she get ahead? She's got the longer run to the line, but she's going to do it. YG Lee of Hong Kong, China takes the first match against Stephanie Morton. Well, I did say that uh, if YG Lee gets this one and gets the bit between her teeth, really does put the pressure on Stephanie Morton, but, uh, well, I wouldn't be surprised if YG Lee uh, doesn't take this in two straight rides now, because she really did show Stephanie Morton the way to ride that one. She came from behind, she accelerated, she was the first to get out of the saddle, she picked up the pace, dropped into the slipstream of Morton, used her opponent to her advantage to give her that little bit of extra impetus as they went down the back straight and uh, just eased around the outside as they came out the final bend and across the line in first place. So it, it was a great ride uh, from YG Lee, and uh, Stephanie Morton will have to be very, very watchful in the second heat if she should avoid once again finishing second best in the women's sprint. Yeah, not a comfy, comfy position for Stephanie Morton, and uh, it was a good ride from Sansara Vajli at all because normally you're trying to overtake in the corner, in the middle of the corner, that you're not going so so long for a wider way because uh, riding over the over the red line took you, of course, more, more distance to the, to the finish line. So. Um, she overtake falls a bit in the back straight, but at the all, she wins. So um, pretty much strong legs for her. Uh, uh, quite early in that one, but had the confidence he would hold off uh, her opponent for the uh, finish, and uh, it's exactly what she did. Just remember, a year ago, um, in the World Cup here in Prusko, Matilda crashed and broke her collarbone, so it's nice to come back and to make it better with the Bronx medal so far. And you see here, the family from Matilda, the mother, the brother, and... Uh, yeah, a lot of friends, so it's nice that you see him with the big G on the T-shirt, huh? Yep, obviously they've been to a, a local uh, T-shirt provider and got some custom-made T-shirts, very nice to look indeed. And they've got some rather nice hats to match as well, so uh, very well turned out are the uh, Matilda Gross fan club. And they have had their reward because she has got a medal, a world medal. She is the bronze medalist in the women's sprint without the necessity of a third and deciding ride. Will we have a similar situation here? Well, if that was an intriguing battle, this one is a really intriguing battle because we have got twice the silver medalist on your screen now Stephanie Morton of Australia 
And, uh, well, I'm sure she's been thinking, this is going to be my year. And once again, I'm in the final. This time, it's got to be the goal, hasn't it? Well, alongside her is the rider who beat her in the first match from Hong Kong, China, and is Wai Ji Li. And she will start in the inside position. So Stephanie Morton has to win this one if she's going to take uh, Wai Ji Li to a third and deciding match. So uh, again, this will be all about uh, choosing your moment when the attacking move will come. We've seen uh, great pace from both riders, uh, but uh, Yi Li rode the first uh, match very intelligently indeed. And I imagine, uh, Christine, we're going to see more of the same here from both riders. This is the critical moment. Uh, Morton has to win this one. Yeah, it's not a comfy position huh, that you have to win and you have to make the second, that you go to the third heat. But um, yeah, Sarah is a brilliant tactic. She ride really William Pactic so far, and uh, she was in World Champion 2013 in the 500m time trial. So, yeah, we could say it could be also her year to be on the podium and uh, to be a World Champion in sprint because she also did a great, great World Cup series um, the last years this year. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know on which side I should be, so that's... Uh, uh, well, 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 we'll let you decide, but um, of whichever of these two riders eventually comes out as the winner, and of course, if uh, Stephanie Morton uh, wins this one, it'll go to another even more nail-biting third and deciding match, but uh, um, at the moment, it's YG Lee in the lead position here, as our uh, shot shows you a view uh, almost from the perspective of Stephanie Morton, who sees uh, YG Lee as a reasonable distance in front. It's a gap at the moment that she will be able to close, because neither rider is, uh, has uh, applied any particular speed to this encounter yet we're uh, coming around with two laps to go Stephanie Morton dropping down to the inside adopting the sprinter's line well Morton's decided to take this one early and uh, she caught YG a little bit on the hop here YG out of the saddle trying to close this gap remember there's a lap and a half to go so Morton as uh, Christina said enjoys the long sprint but uh, will she enjoy this one because here comes YG Lee one lap to go Stephanie Morton going up the track now dipping down inside that red sprint line again YG Lee though is getting closer here comes the Hong Kong China rider she's caught Morton in the back straight she's now beginning to come fast if she wins this one she will be the world champion YG Lee on the outside here, coming to the line, and it's gold and the world title for YG Lee of Hong Kong, China. Once again, Stephanie Morton will finish in silver medal position in the World Sprint Championship. Well, you have to feel for her, but you can take nothing away from the rider on your screens there. That is YG Lee of Hong Kong, China. Christina, I think uh, a worthy winner of that one. She rode both matches extremely well indeed. Yeah, Stephanie's trying to took a gap, and uh, I think she was a bit surprised how big the gap is. So, uh, yeah, it was false. And when you have that big, that big gap between your riders, you have to go full gas and take this chance. And she didn't, so uh, it was playing definitely the cards for Sarah Vajli. And uh, yeah, see how, yeah, I think she's crying a little bit, huh? Uh, well, nice. she, she's, a, she's allowed, I think, the odd tear, definitely, but definitely. Um, they will be tears of joy, not tears of sadness, because uh, she is the world champion uh, for the uh, women's sprint. And uh, she uh, takes that title here in uh, Pruskov at the uh, 2019 UCI Track Cycling World Championships presented by Tissot. And uh, yeah, well, there's uh, more smiles. Here's a little look back at that one. And uh, Morton went very early indeed. You did say, Christina, she uh, enjoys taking the long sprint, but maybe it was just too early because uh, even though YGD was actually caught by surprise by that move, she had to really accelerate to uh, close the gap. Here we see the decisive moment in the back straight where YG Lee caught and then passed Morton. And this on-bike camera from YG Lee will show you the pain on the face of Stephanie Morton as she realizes once again she will only take away a silver medal from these world titles. YG Lee is your world sprint champion for the women's sprint. That cycling, huh? You say at all that uh, Stephanie's, it's Stephanie's year, she will be the world champion yesterday. So, yeah, Sarah said better, she is new world champion. And uh, yeah, I will not look in the head of Stephanie. I think this, this silver medal hurts really much, really much this year. I, I would imagine, because as you were saying yesterday, I think she, she had the mindset that perhaps uh, having finished uh, in second place to you on two occasions, that maybe this is the opportunity that she would have uh, to take the goal. But she met a very strong challenge indeed. 
as you rightly said, Wai had a great World Cup campaign. She uh, had a great sprint in the final round of the World Cup. There was real competitive action before these World Championships in front of her home crowd in Hong Kong, China. She couldn't ask for a better performance, and uh, uh, she has demonstrated here why that was such a great uh, performance from her, because she is the new <laughs> world champion. So the celebrations will continue here. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is bring you uh, an interview down the track centre to uh, our winner of the Kilometre Time Trial.